It's Lando and it's the Hip Hop Lab, man. Uh, NBA young boy T Grizzly got into some type of altercation at Rolling Loud. This year, Rolling Loud been looking like something straight out of a movie from Kodak being arrested and everything, man. But check out this news clip. I ain't going to speak on it at all. Check out the news clip. And make sure y'all comment y'all thoughts. Hopefully this situation can be resolved. We'd love to see them do some music. But after this, probably not. It's the Hip Hop Lab. We begin, though, with a deadly shooting in Sunny Isles Beach, right outside the Trump International Beach Resort. That's where we find Sinella Sabobic. That's right. She has details on the man that was shot and also the woman as well, Sinella. Well, Alex and Andrew, we have three very active scenes, one in Aventura and two here in Sunny Isles. We learned that a man was shot and killed inside of a vehicle. That is where we are at right now. This is inside of a strip mall along Collins Avenue. I do want to get you to some video because witnesses tell us that this all began outside of the Trump International Beach Resort along, again, 180th Street and Collins Avenue, that there was some sort of altercation that took place between two rappers who were actually set to perform at the the Rolling Loud Festival this evening. We've learned the altercation was between the entourages of NBA Youngboy and T Grizzly. Witnesses say they heard someone fire shots at least four or five rounds. A woman was struck and raced to Aventura Hospital. Immediately following that shooting, the fight then spilled over again to the strip mall parking lot where we are at. This is directly across the street from the hotel. A man here again was shot and killed. A friend of the victims tells me off camera that he was simply an innocent bystander. He was working at the Hertz rental car company here at the strip mall and just parking a car when he was caught in the crossfire. We're learning he was a man in his 40s. Then there is a third scene that is on the William Lehman Causeway. Aventura police say a person was shot and sustained non-life threatening injuries. Investigators remain processing that scene as we speak and they are working with the Sunny Isles Police Department to see if all of these shooting scenes are connected and we spoke to people here at this very active strip mall including a woman who works at a burger fi here. She tells us she saw terrified people racing into that establishment ducking for cover following all all of that chaos. Take a listen. Yeah, the shots were fired, and um, I mean, probably like three or four or five rounds of it. It sounded like firecracker at first, and as you can see, you know, it was it's hindrous because the guy passed. Like, all I remember is um, a lady running in with her dog. She's like, oh my gosh, they're shooting, they're shooting, and it was just like, it was everybody it was so much chaos out of nowhere, and like, all I really was worried about is like everyone getting low, because you know, when there's bullets, you don't know where they're going to go, and like, and the Miami-Dade Police Department is the lead agency investigating this fatal shooting. A public information officer just arrived here on the scene. We are waiting to get briefed and get more definitive information. Once we get that, we will certainly pass it along to you both on air and on local10.com. For now, that's the very latest here out of Sunny Isles. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10.